I'm gonna be showing you my go-to DIY hair mask that I like to do every so often. I'm gonna show you the ingredients, how I make it, how I apply it, how it looks once I'm out the shower, and what my hair looks like after styling. Let's get into it. The ingredients I like to use is avocado, Greek yogurt, aloe vera, and honey. I began to cut the avocado, but then I realized it wasn't ripe at all, so I left that to the side for later. In the meantime, I cut the aloe in squares and trimmed all of the front to expose the aloe gel. Then I just soaked those in cold water for about an hour. Aloe vera is my favorite ingredient for everything hair related. It helps moisturize, smooth, and detangle hair. Next, I ended up mixing the yogurt and honey in a bowl thoroughly. Greek yogurt is great for hair because it has a lot of protein, which are building blocks of the structure of your hair. Honey is an amazing humectant for your hair, which means it attracts moisture to where it's applied, which is essential for healthy hair. Now, I take the unripe avocado and wrap it tightly in tin foil and put it in the oven for an hour on 200 degrees. And this will help it ripen really quickly. The main reason we're adding avocado is because it helps reduce breakage and helps hair look shinier and healthier. So once the avocado was out the oven, I chopped it up and put it into the blender. Then I took the aloe leaves and scraped the surface with the spoon to take off all of the pure gel and drop it off in the bowl. Then I just blended the yogurt, honey, avocado, and aloe mix together. Then I just strained it with my hair cap since I couldn't find my cheesecloth and this is what I was left with. It's now ready to be used or you can store it in the fridge for up to three days. So now that we've made the hair mask, we're gonna get into applying it. We're gonna need a couple of pairs of gloves, spray bottle with warm water, a comb or brush, and a couple of plastic hair caps. We're gonna split our hair into four sections. Okay, so now that I look absolutely nuts, we're going to take one of the sections. We're gonna start applying the hair mask. First things first, we need to put on our gloves. Grab that spray bottle that you have. Now that my hair has some amount of water on it, we're gonna take the hair mask, take a decent amount, probably gonna add more, and rub it in your hands, and apply it from ends to roots. The smell is interesting. It doesn't smell like putrid, but it doesn't smell very good. So I'm actually gonna part the sections because I feel like my section may have been too big. One thing you're gonna wanna make sure you don't do is add way too much to one section because if you run out of the hair mask, you're gonna be pretty mad when you get to the top. And uh, I don't really like that smell. It's just not my favorite combination of smells. And this is more of a protein mask. This should help somebody that has really undefined curls and their curls just won't define properly no matter what they do. This is what it looks like when I added it. It's not drenched in product. So I think the section is done. So now I'm going to just twist it up. Last part of this section. Uh oh, the clip is stuck. I'm just gonna leave it. The product is kind of flinging everywhere. And we're gonna twist this up. and repeat the same process. Okay, so this section is done. Didn't really take that long to apply because I did to tangle my hair before I did any of this. So we're at the end and there's no more hair mask left. It's completely empty. This is what my hair looks like with the hair mask in. My hair feels really good already and I haven't even washed it out yet and it's only been in for like five minutes. And you can see my curls are pretty defined despite me not having any real product in it. So I'm going to tie this up into two French braids and I'm gonna put on the plastic cap, I think an hour. I'm gonna wait an hour and then wash it out. I'm gonna show you what it looks like after I've let it sit for an hour because I'm pretty sure a lot of my hair is gonna soak it up. So now we're gonna take our shower cap and put that on real quick. I'll be back. Okay, it's been about an hour. Now I'm gonna show you what my hair looks like after leaving it in. Oh, it's dripping in the back. So my head feels pretty warm. My hair looks pretty, uh, looks like it was like elongated or something. It looks kind of 
cool. My hair feels pretty warm. Now I'm just gonna hop in the shower and wash like usual, and then I'm gonna show you the styling process and what the final results are. So I'll be back. Okay, I've just finished washing my hair, and now we're gonna see what it looks like when I take this out. So right off the bat, my hair feels a lot stronger than it did. Um, my hair was pretty brittle before and it felt like it had no like, it didn't really snap back the way that it usually does. I haven't done a protein treatment in a long time. So my hair feels really structured. It feels way more soft and I'm pretty sure when I do do curls with this, it's gonna look really, really defined because I can feel how structured my hair feels compared to how it was. We're gonna get into the final results of what my hair looks like when styled. I'm gonna be using a Denman brush and a normal comb and a warm bottle of water for this. Okay, I've finished styling my hair. Now I'm just gonna dry it up with my diffuser and blow dryer attachment, and then we're gonna go see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm done drying my hair. It's about 90% dry right now, but this is what it looks like. From what I see, my hair looks a lot better curly than it did last week because I did put my hair in curls last week for a video. I can tell you right now, these are way more defined than the ones I did before and I did the exact same method. My hair definitely feels more structured and it feels really strong. I think the main factor of that mask that helped me the most was definitely the yogurt and the avocado. That definitely gave my hair some strengthening factors and the moisturizing factors, the honey and the aloe vera that definitely helped a lot as well in giving me the shine that i have i think this looks amazing i really do recommend this hair mask to anybody that's trying to get their hair to curl up properly or to see certain definition and especially if you have high porosity hair i definitely recommend this mask if you have low porosity hair you can do this too just not nearly as often i would say for low porosity hair you can do this every two to three months for high porosity hair you can do this every month if you really wanted to but i consider this a win i do think that this worked out really really well and I hope you guys try it out and let me know what you think of the mask on your own hair. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow all of my socials at Big Head Justice on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. But yeah, that's it.